right, so today what we're going to do is make some more connections between stuff we learned back in chapters 1 through 4 or 5 and dealing with limits. All right, we've already looked at how um, various things like our vertical asymptotes and our holes apply to limits, but we're going to look now today at how horizontal asymptotes and end behavior can apply to limits. Okay? So there's some previous knowledge I want to just review briefly here. Uh, first of all is our leading coefficient test for polynomials. Do you guys remember what the leading coefficient test said? The positive negative, like... Okay, what? Well, uh, if it's negative, or the exponent to it, wouldn't it wouldn't, uh, if it's even or odd, so if I could... Okay, good. It had to do with the uh, the leading coefficient, whether it's positive or negative, and also the degree of the polynomial, whether it's even or odd. So if it's even, they both go the same way. Okay. If it's odd, they go opposite ways. Mm -hmm. If it's even, positive, it goes up. Even, negative, it goes down. Odd, positive. So right side goes up, left side goes down. Okay. If odd, negative. Left side goes up, right side goes down. Very good. Okay. So that leading coefficient, the sign of it, positive or negative, tells us what the right side does. If it's positive, we're going up to the right. If it's negative, we're going down to the right. Okay? If our degree of the, the degree of the polynomial then tells us whether the left side is going to be even or the same, it's going to be the same as the right hand side or whether it's going to be different, all right, opposite of the right side. All right, so if we had a leading coefficient of, say, a negative 3x cubed, all right, the negative means that our function is going to go down to the right. We don't know quite what it's going to do in the middle, but we do know that since this is odd, the left side is going to do the opposite, so it's going to go up, okay? If we had, say, a positive uh, 6x to the 4th, and that was our leading term in the polynomial, the positive 6 means we're going up to the right. The fact that this is even means no matter what happens in the middle, the left side is going to do the same as the right, so it's going to go up as well. Okay? So there's a little summary of the leading coefficient test. That can be helpful to keep in mind as we work our way through this. The other thing is how we determine horizontal asymptotes. Okay? Bobo Botten. What's that? Bobo Botten. Bobo Botten. Okay, remember our Bobo Botten. This is a nice little acronym to help us remember things about finding horizontal asymptotes. So we're looking at the degree of the numerator and denominator again. And BOBO stands for the fact that if it's bigger on the bottom, the higher degree is in the denominator, then zero is what we're approaching. So our asymptote is that y equals zero, or f of x equals zero, okay? Botten stands for if it's bigger on the top, the higher degree is in the numerator. And if that's the case, if it's bigger on the top, there are no asymptotes. Okay? And if it's the same, then you divide. If it's the same, then you divide the leading coefficients. Okay? If we have equal degrees, we're dividing the leading coefficients. Okay? Now, remember this is one thing where horizontal asymptotes were slightly different than vertical asymptotes. And that is, it was possible for us to cross the asymptotes, but the difference is, it's the end behavior that is going to approach our asymptote. Okay? The end behavior. We, in other words, if we have a horizontal asymptote, wherever it is, we could have a function that somewhere in the middle maybe crosses it, but the fact is, as we go to the right and as we go to the left, 
we're going to approach that value. Okay, and that's significant because what we're looking at today is limits at infinity. Okay, limits at infinity. When x is approaching infinity or negative infinity. In other words, when we're going really far to the right on our graph or really far to the left on our graph, what's our function going to approach? And as we just saw, the value of the function, the function is getting closer and closer and closer and closer to that horizontal asymptote. So what do you think the limit's going to equal? Now, x is approaching infinity, but so what is the limit going to be? Whatever the asymptote is. Whatever the asymptote is. Very good. Whatever the asymptote is. All right, so let's take those same rules that we just looked at and apply them to horizontal to uh, limits okay if I'm taking a limit and the degree of the numerator is bigger then guess what it that means there's no horizontal asymptote that's our bottom so there's no limit okay so that means the function's either going to go up to the right or down to the right or, or something like that it's going to go off to infinity which means you're right their limit does not exist. Okay? For example, if we had the limit as x approaches infinity of, say, a 3x squared plus 5x minus 11 over uh, a 10x plus 1, Okay, the degree on the top is bigger, so we would say the limit does not exist. So easy. What a waste of ink. Okay. Now I'm going to start with some basic examples for each of these. I want to come back and take it one step further um, in a minute. So, let's look at the next rule. If we're taking a limit, we have this, rash, this uh, ratio here. Um, if the degree of the denominator is bigger, the limit is going to approach zero. Remember, bigger on bottom, your asymptote equals zero. So, we would say the limit as x approaches infinity, if we had, say, um, a 5x squared, squared plus 7x plus 100 over you know, 3x to the 4th minus 20, okay? The degree on the bottom is bigger, so I know this whole thing is going to just approach 0. Wow. Okay? So if the limit coefficient is bigger, right? No, 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 if the degree is bigger. Oh, degree. Yeah. The biggest, the highest degree Does is bigger. Always equal zero? Oh, okay. It'll always approach zero. Oops. Sorry. It'll always approach zero. And this is only when x is approaching infinity. Yes. Yes. Or, yeah. As x gets huge, this is what happens. Now, <laughs> let me show you why. Okay? Let me show you why here. You might say, well, as x gets big, you know, 5x squared is going to get enormous, right? And you're right, okay, if we have 5x squared plus 7x plus 100, and we have 3x to the 4th minus 20, okay, if I look at this in a table, starting at 0 going up by 1s, right, let me turn the light off so we can see a little better, okay, you'll notice here, if I were dividing, y1 is our numerator, this is our denominator, you know, 100 divided by negative 20, 112 divided by a negative 17, all right? So here I've got some decently large numbers, but you'll notice this is increasing, but just a little bit, right? We only get up to 322 by the time we have x equals 6. y2 has already increased to 3,868. 
okay? So you can already see how, wait, our denominator is getting bigger faster than our numerator is, okay? You can see this even better if we change it, so we're, let's say we're going up by tens. Once we get up to 60, boy, our numerator is pretty big. It's 18,520. But what's 18,520 compared to 3.89 times 10 to the 7th? Wow. We're talking about 38,900,000. All right? So what's 18,000 compared to 38 million? Nothing. It's nothing. All right? It's nothing. If I went up by 100, you could see it even better. Okay? Hey, at 600, we're at uh, 1.8 million. But over here, we are at uh, almost a trillion. 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 We're at 390 billion. Okay, so what's 1.8 million compared to 390 billion? Nothing. It's nothing. All right? So you can see then, if I were to actually do the ratio of that divided by. <coughs> that, this is the actual function we were taking the limit of, if I were to actually look at the table now, look over here at y3, negative 5.00017, and then, but then check this out, we're getting really, really small, and we're only up to 600, let alone x is approaching infinity, right? So imagine when x is 6 million, how like tiny that's going to be. Really All right. Small. So that's why we're approaching zero. Okay. So. Long story short. There we have it. Okay. <laughs> now the last one. The last one we have here. If the degrees are the same, the limit's going to approach that horizontal asymptote. And how do we find the horizontal asymptote? By taking the ratio of the leading coefficients. The limit as x approaches infinity of, let's say we've got a 5x cubed plus 7x minus 1,000 over, you know, 2x cubed plus 20. Sure. Okay. Well, basically I can ignore the 7x minus 1,000. I can ignore the plus 20. Because as x gets huge, x cubed is going to get huge a lot faster than a 7 times x would, right? Mm -hmm. So all of this, again, is nothing compared to what x cubed is. So this ratio is going to converge down, okay? It's going to converge down to the ratio of the coefficients here. So in this case our limit equals 5 halves, okay? Because just like we saw in the previous example, as x gets enormous, all of this becomes irrelevant. And check this out. If I had 5x cubed over 2x cubed, what's anything over itself? 1. One. So we get 5 over 2. All the infinities cancel each other out, and we just have 5 halves. Okay? I know that might be hard to kind of wrap your head around, but if you think about it, or look at it in a table again, it'll make sense. Okay. All right, so we have that. Those are our three basic rules. So let's practice using them. Okay? The limit as x approaches infinity of x squared plus 3x plus 5 over x cubed plus 1. Zero. All right. Bigger on bottom it's going to approach zero. Uh, question, I have to finish yeah. a test from this time. Do you think you can grab the table things? No, I assumed she'd be in here right now, but I don't know. I'm not um, math class. What? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Like, yeah, like, she's she's not not mad mad it's easier than that. <laughs> For you, it's like mad she's, she's, she's not in, in the, um, She's not in college. Do you know where she'd be? I honestly don't know. Yeah. hundred. Only, 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 only
It's a hard one. Really? But I didn't mean to do it. Oh, I was first. Wait, that was a quiz? Right. Like, you only got 100 seconds there. Actually, it's on here, mate. And if you want to do it, if you want to do it, it's already Yeah, I skipped it. Like, two no, like, no, right, I skipped it. It's not like you can't remember. You just have to get it once. Oh, yeah. Like, we did it when it was We didn't do it as great. We didn't do it as great. We didn't do it as great. No, wait, Sam, we didn't do it as great. We just did it like, what was it? All right. So there we have, there we have the one rule, bigger on bottom, it's approaching zero, okay? All right, so our next one here, let's take a look at this one. What do we have here? Three sevens. Three sevens. We have the same exponents, so all of this is irrelevant, and it's just three over seven. Okay? How about another one? Three halves. Mm. Oh, no. What's our degree? One or two. Or is one half. One half, okay? Because we have a square root. Is the one significant here? No. No, not as x approaches infinity, right? So we can think of this as having the same degree again. It's going to approach three halves, okay? We're going to revisit that in a second, okay? But here's the last one. What's that one? There's no good question. It's x to the it's x to the x. This isn't any of our rules. Do you remember what that equals? Oh, it's one to the it's one over x. One. It's, uh, it's x. One to the infinity. Are we going yes. one over seventeen? We saw this a couple days ago. What is? I can't say because I can see it here. No, it's not one of our rules. It's just this is a definition. Given how it's on And you would be right. E. Oh, you saw the notes. Yeah. It's E. Right. This is our definition of E. Approach two point seven one eight and so on. You saw that when we were doing tables. We were doing limits by tables. Okay. That's our one that's used for continuous growth, exponential growth. Okay. So I figured I'd just throw that one in there for you. Thanks. But let's take, let's take this idea right here a step further, okay? Because this goes beyond the whole idea of the horizontal asymptotes that we looked at back in the beginning of the year, okay? If I had something, even with a radical or something, you can still compare the degrees, so to speak, or the highest power of x, all right? Let's say I had the limit as x approaches infinity of, say, um, x plus 5 over the square root of x. Well, the degree on the top is 1, and the degree on the bottom is 1 half. 1 is bigger, so it does not exist. Okay? Here, I could have the limit as x approaches infinity of, say, um, let's, let's say we've got um, the square root of x plus 7, and on the top we've got the cube root of x minus 5. Zero, zero. Okay. All right. What's the degree here? I mean, not one third. A third. What's the degree here? Oh, no. A half. A third is smaller than a half, right? So we could say that the limit's going to approach zero. Down here, we could have we could have something like this. We could have a cube root of five x squared plus seven x plus one over the cube root of three x squared minus five. Okay. What is the Nine degree, so third. to speak? Two thirds. Oh, two thirds. Two thirds, yeah. X squared and it's cube rooted, so that's like a two thirds. Five thirds. And this is a two thirds, so yeah, our, our limit would just be the five over the three. <coughs> okay? So you see how powerful these rules are here. We can, uh, we can ignore a whole lot about these functions just by looking at 
you know, when x is approaching infinity just by looking at those degrees. Okay? Alright. You okay? Yeah, just like I don't want to be trying to ask you what that should Okay. Alright, so now let's put this together with what we did on one step. Uh. Alright? It's not that yeah. hard. Come on. Awesome. Awesome. So here we have this. Yeah, it's an awesome. It's a sum, right? So what can we do when we have the limit of a sum? Separate it. Separate it, yeah. Separate it into two separate limits, right? So the limit as x approaches infinity of 7 plus the limit as x approaches infinity of this rational function. the limit of seven? Seven. Seven. It's a constant, all right? It'll never change no matter right. what x is approaching. What's the limit of the second half? Zero. 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 So, this whole thing is going to approach seven. Uh, I like infinity. I like when x approaches infinity. These ones are nice. These are really nice. Um, by the way, what if this one had the bigger degree on the top so it didn't exist? Nine. What 7 plus does not exist? Does not exist. Does not exist, okay? That's not appropriate to write, though, by the way. 7 plus does not exist equals does not exist. Right. You just, anytime you're doing something like this, if part of it, the limit doesn't exist, then you would say the whole thing, the limit doesn't exist. Okay? All right, so there's that one. Uh, here's one other one. Okay? We have the limit of this rational function to the fourth power. How can we handle it when we have a function that's raised to a power? Wait, we don't have to do anything. Can we just say it's 6 over 4? They're both six raised to the power of 4. It's 6 over 4 to the fourth. Yeah. Oh, but if you have the it's fourth the, it's every... the limit of that time to the fourth yeah, power. Yeah, yes. Limit, should should we make six. to the fourth power? And then... Well, guess what? You can do one of two things. If you really want to, you can multiply this out to the fourth power. Okay. Or, check it out. Oh, right. The limit of a power is the power of the limit. So you can take the limit of that function first, which you guys already recognized as 6 over 4, or 3 halves, and then simply raise that to the fourth power. Very good, 81 sixteenths. Okay? And that's it. All right, so see how those limit rules and theorems come in handy now. Okay? But can we find all of the limits like this? Yeah. If x is approaching infinity? Yeah. So. That's the thing, you got to pay attention to what is x approaching. If it's approaching infinity, you're using these rules. If it's approaching another value, then you're thinking in terms of what we've been doing the last couple days. Do I get 0 over 0? If so, do I factor out or do I use rationalization? Can I do just direct substitution? You know, so we're kind of developing a couple, some different rules here. That will be helpful. Okay? All right. So that's it. Okay. Awesome. That's what? it. I gave you a couple of these to kind of tie this together. Think you've got these functions. Do not plug them into your calculator. That defeats the whole purpose. Okay. Um, think in terms of asymptotes and limits. All right. For example, number one here. Number one here. Where is the horizontal asymptote on number one? Four. Four. So that means the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity is 4. So as you look at all these graphs, all of the graphs, which ones have a horizontal asymptote at 4? G? G is uh, at 2. I know it's hard to see. C and I heard D as well, right? Okay. So now you've got it narrowed down to 2. So what's the other distinction in the graphs there? What? No, whatever. If they also have a vertical asymptote. Right? Well, they're both kind of going up. Oh, oh, it's even. Versus, that's like a... 
No, wait, one's connected. Do they and also have a vertical asymptote? One's connected, one also has a vertical asymptote, all right? So you're thinking here, does this have a vertical asymptote at zero? No. No, no, otherwise we'd have like this, right? So this one must be C, okay? So that's how you gotta think through these. This is a really good practice helping us to uh, identify those asymptotes, identify horizontal asymptotes, thinking about the limits, all of that, okay? Then you have these. There's a lot, but listen, you should be zipping through these. Once you get the hang of it, you're just using your three rules. All of these have x approaching infinity. So you're just using those three rules every time, okay? Great. All right.